Hey everybody, Max with Fun With Guns here, and I thought I'd reminisce a little bit about what shooting was like when I was a kid. I guess I was about six years old the first time I fired a rifle. Of course, my dad holding both of my hands and everything. 22 bolt action rifle, single shot. And we used to go and shoot at two places in the town in the south I used to live in. There was a clay pit and there was an empty field out by the airport. Now you have to understand, this is the mid 60s, things were very different. It was not uncommon for any open trash pit or clay pit or any open field that you had permission to, go, to be on to become a, a place to shoot. Of course, we had the advantage of wide open spaces. We lived in a small town in an agricultural community. In the late 1960s, early 1970s, the city built a police training range at the city airport off on a, on a corner of the area we used to call the keyhole. At one point it had been a grass runway, but nobody used it anymore. This was up against the tree line, there was nothing behind it for miles, and it turned out that all you had to do was ask the police department to get permission, you could go out there and shoot, or the airport manager, as long as you told them. And over time they even dropped that requirement. Now all this was, was some target racks and a dirt berm with about 12 target stands. Everything was designed for shooting at 25 yards or closer. It was a very simple setup, very austere, but it was all we needed. Eventually, the city realized that so many people were using it that it was best just to make it open to the public. Now this was not fenced in or anything. You could just go out anytime during the daylight hours and shoot all you wanted as long as you used due regard for caution. And sometimes we would go out and there'd be other people there, but generally speaking it was very much a gentleman's arrangement and it worked out very well. Of course eventually the shooting stands rusted and got shot to pieces and the city quit taking care of the dirt mound the way they should have and the place sort of decayed, but for probably 15 or 20 years it gave everyone a place to shoot and that was great. It actually worked out for everyone. Less people were doing things they shouldn't have been doing because they had a place to go shoot. And I highly recommend every city, every municipality to set up public shooting ranges because it can make a lot of problems go away. I hate to say this, I'm not proud of it, being a native southerner, but I did grow up in an era where rednecks used stop signs for target practice. And uh, not something that uh, we like to talk about, but the truth is the truth. Fortunately though, once that range was set up, there was, I believe there was some small reduction in that because now people had a place, a legitimate place to go and shoot. Back in those days, the 60s, the 70s, even part of the 80s, it was so much more just a gentleman's affair in the honor system. And I know we can't go back in time, but that is one of the things about that period I do miss. Now don't misunderstand me, I love the air conditioned ranges that I shoot in now. I love the gun clubs with all the nice equipment, it's very, very nice. And some places like uh, Broward County out at Markham Park, they have a police range that's open to the public. Uh, it's probably one of the best things they can do as far as public services go, because now people have a good place to go and shoot, and if they want to shoot someplace that's air conditioned with all the electric targets and everything, there are pay ranges they can do that in. That's great. I'm seeing more ranges being built and I am so happy to see this. It's a great trend. But there was a certain innocence about the way we did things back in the 60s and 70s that, well, it was a time and a place and it's gone. And I guess, like most uh, aging men, I tend to fawn for the old days because it was my youth. And it was fun and it was simple. That was shooting in those days. It was a great time. We had a lot of fun and there was a certain innocence to it. And that's what I miss the most. Well guys, this is Max with Fun With Guns. See you next time and please, as always, be safe.